I don't think we're going to wow. get that side of the studio back wow. anytime soon. Everyone's so yeah. caught that up looks in that intense. game. intense. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, gaming. it's time for us to now turn our attention for, away from gaming and now to technology. Yes. Well, kind of sticking to the yeah, same vein, I guess. Same, but different, different. But it's completely different. Yeah, this is an interesting one. The mind people. We've all heard about the mind people. Yes, the mind people of South America and the advanced technology of their time remains one of the biggest mysteries for modern archaeologists. Now, with the use of something called aerial mapping, they've made it even more of a mystery. So in Guatemala's Petén region, an incredible discovery of a lost mine society has been made in the dense jungle using the high-tech mapping equipment called light detection and ranging. It stands for LIDAR, okay? Till now, the jungle has made it very hard for archaeologists to uncover any ruins due to the difficulty in navigating through the thick overgrowth. Now, LIDAR has found traces of 60,000 ruined buildings, including houses, uh, defense works, pyramids, even uh, agricult or agricultural fields with irrigation canals. I mean, that is phenomenal. And this discovery has also given scientists an indication that up to 10 million people may have lived within the Mayan lowlands region. The peak of Mayan culture occurred between 1000 and 900 BC, and some of their descendants still live in the region today. But I mean, can you imagine how dense that must have been, or the, how dense that jungle is that they haven't seen that? Over 60,000 houses. Sure. That's crazy. But very interesting. Wow, that's a, that's a discovery. Very, very interesting. Now, we've, we've been teasing you the whole morning about a human Uber. Now, <laughs> have you ever been, you know, late for a meeting, or suddenly your car doesn't want to start, or the trains are running late? Well, a Japanese tech company, they're testing a solution to that, and it may just be the most ridiculous tech concept that you've heard in recent times. It is called the Chameleon Mask, and it's sort of like a human uber it allows you to book someone to attend meetings on your behalf that person will wear a vr goggles with a flat screen attached to the front and via the video feed for your uh, and basically your face will then project onto that screen and you'll also look at that what? <laughs> You'll also then be able to see whatever the person sees through your smartphone or even your laptop. And the aim is to really create a network of surrogates who can attend important meetings on your behalf. Um, now, they also claim that the service can be used to visit a friend or a family member in another city. It's still in the developmental phase, but I really think this is one I will skip. I feel like it's very similar to Skype. If you I was just, just about open to say, the, why couldn't you just laptop? put a laptop there and, and, and use Skype? Skype. <laughs> hey, it's one of those technologies we're going to be talking about in the next few months. It's so like, yeah, one of the most <laughs> random <laughs> inventions very, very ever. Very, random. I don't know if I would want to send someone like that to go break up with. It's a strange person. Other. Imagine, it's like, oh, hey, sorry, I can't make it to lunch, mom, but don't worry, I'll kind of be there. Yeah, we'll uh, send someone else. <laughs> wow, anyways. <laughs>